Your NBA Power Rankings presented by Toyo Tires. Only one team has only one loss, but that team is not the Golden State Warriors, so that team is not number one. That team would be the Raptors, coming in at number two at 12-1. and one. The Warriors still number one on CBSSports.com, despite getting blown out at home by the Milwaukee Bucks, who remain in that number three position at 10-3. and three. The Sixers are up to number six with that eight and six record, the highest six loss team in the rankings. Let's bring in Reed Forgrave, who helps put these rankings together. And Reed, I imagine the Sixers rising in this poll has little to do with what they've done on the court so far and more to do with the little trade that happened over the weekend. What does Jimmy Butler do for their outlook? Look, what he gives the Sixers is their third player who's a top 20 player in the NBA. You know how many other teams in the NBA have that? One. And it's that team that's number one in the power rankings, the Golden State Warriors. Anytime you have a chance to make a trade like that for a player of Jimmy Butler's caliber, you make it, no doubt about it. And yet there are some risks to go with this trade. Now I'm gonna highlight really quickly, three in particular. Risk number one is a spacing risk. You're losing two great shooters in Sarge and Covington. Jimmy Butler can hit threes, not exactly known as a guy who is an elite shooter. Number two, is this the salary cap uh, question for these guys? Going forward, Jimmy Butler wants that five-year max deal. Do you want to give a five-year max to a guy who's going to be 34 years old with a lot of minutes on his knees uh, come that last year of that deal? And then the third thing, I think this is most interesting. I was just talked to an NBA executive about Jimmy Butler's mercurial nature. He's such a combustible personality. He's blown up at the past two teams he's headed at. He knows that he has what, two-thirds, three-quarters of a season to prove that he can fit in with these Sixers. And yet there are issues here that have to do with Jimmy Butler as someone who sees it as him against the world. That worked five years ago when he was a nice underdog story. That doesn't work when he's looking for a max contract. All right. Uh, still, the uh, the pros outweigh the cons, though, when you're going for an NBA championship and having to compete against a team like the Golden State Warriors uh, and the Raptors, for that matter. They're 12 and one. They have the best record in the league. The one you think about is Kawhi Leonard because he's the big superstar that they have there, but he's not the main reason they're 12 and one. Who is? It's that little fella right there. Is that Kyle Lowry or is that Steve Nash that we were looking at? I can't really tell. <laughs> Because when you look at his numbers this year, he's averaging 11 assists per game, leading the NBA in assists, 17 points. He's shooting lights out from three like he always does. These are shockingly similar numbers to Steve Nash's numbers during his two MVP seasons. Look, is Kyle Lowry the best player on this team? No, of course it is Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is a top five player in the NBA. But if you look at the way that this team is made up, uh, the floor spacing that, uh, that Nick Nurse has really emphasized around Kyle Lowry. This is, for the first time in his career, actually Kyle Lowry's team. You can see this team that is just shaped in his image and just such a, uh, a nails player, a guy who is such a great leader. And uh, it's really great seeing him getting that sort of recognition this year as an elite NBA player. Try to get to 13-1. and one. They're in action tonight hosting the Pelicans. Uh, Boston Celtics are, are having problems. They've lost four of five, have a couple days off here before they get back into action on Wednesday. What's been the main issue for them? Look, we knew this team had a great defense. They're still number one in defensive efficiency. You'd think they'd be just fine, except they're not making shots at all. They rank 27th in the NBA in offensive efficiency. Guys like Al Horford, guys like Jalen Brown, guys like Gordon Hayward are having among the worst shooting seasons, if not the worst shooting seasons of their entire career. I was around this team last week when they lost to the Utah Jazz. And Brad Stevens honestly says he's not that concerned uh, about the offense. He feels that, look, there was a time a couple weeks ago when they, they weren't clicking. They weren't getting the shots they needed. Now, they are getting the shots with Kyrie back in the lineup after missing that game against the Jazz. Brad Stevens thinks eventually those shots are going to fall. You mentioned that game against the Jazz, uh, one of the very few home victories that they've had this season. Are they starting to get back to the Jazz team that we thought this was going to be at the start of the season? Well, not quite. Uh, we talk about defensive efficiency with the Celtics. Uh, the Celtics have maintained that. The Jazz have not. Jazz had the best defense in the NBA last season. Right now, they're ranking 20th in defensive efficiency. And I was around this team a lot last week in Salt Lake City. And 
the scuttlebutt you heard is essentially they're a team that now has a target on their back and they're adjusting to those sorts of expectations. Quinn Snyder doesn't seem particularly worried about it, especially on the defensive event. Defense tends to travel, this team's going to adjust. Same with Dennis Lindsay. I spoke with him and he felt the exact same way. Uh, the interesting part of their Jazz's schedule so far is it is so front loaded. This has been an absolutely brutal stretch and that's gonna continue for the next month. If this team is hovering right around 500 come Christmas time, I think, and people around the team think that they're going to be just fine in the stretch run. You're getting a five-game road trip tonight in Memphis. The Grizzlies 5-0 and at home. Reed Forgrave, thank you so much for the time. You can check out the full list of rankings on CBSSports.com. Another look at the top 10 with the Warriors hanging on to that top spot, but the Raptors and Bucks are right there.